out of my dreams Pretty eyes so wise and pristine I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door Open eyes cause I couldn't believe That you were right in front of me Feeling pushed right through my heart Fireworks lit right from the start Got me on cloud nine Good afternoon everyone Today is June 14th, 2023 and this is an update on our house build. We're building a custom home in Citrus County, Florida. My wife and I are currently living in our fifth wheel. Uh, this is just going to be an update. Let's go take a look at the house and see what's been done over the past couple of days. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified a new video when they become available. All right, guys. So for the past two days, a crew has been here. And they have been putting on the decorative elements of the front of the house. Uh, and we've run into a bit of an issue, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, they've got a little bit more work to do, it looks like. Uh, but mostly they're finished. They're, they've started taking down all of their uh, scaffolding. Uh, but anyway, you can see the, the corbels up there. We've got banding around the windows. Uh, there's a decorative element above this window here and below it. They actually uh, cut off the pieces that were there already. Uh, they were concrete uh, ledges and then they put these new decorative ones on there. That's that's gonna, uh, that decorative element above there, that's gonna come into play here in a minute with what I'm gonna tell you guys. Anyway, you can see here they've uh, added to the columns at the uh, bottom and the top got banding up here also have the corbels up here and you can see underneath the corbels there's a, a like a 10 inch band underneath that as well now there's corbels over here we have 10 inch banding underneath that as well on the side of the porch area there's banding and a corbel same goes for this higher area as well over here but there's no banding underneath this uh, crown and there's no banding underneath this crown and over here on the garage none here as well and the reason is because if you look here this window it's not a whole lot of space there and there's also no design element above it um, of course we have the new uh, ledge here the decorative ledge but what happened is apparently when the windows were put in something on the drawing was wrong the window is too high the window itself should be lower uh, to accommodate that 10 inch banding above it as well as um, the decorative piece that I showed you from that window over there so we've got a decision to make do we rip out the windows cut the concrete down, build up above it, and then lower the windows? Or do we just leave them like they are? Maybe put those design elements above these windows, although there's not a whole lot of room between the uh, crown and that piece that'll be up there. There will be a little gap, but not a whole lot. Um, so we're kind of stuck with trying to figure out what to do with regards to that. But anyway, overall, it looks really good. Um, I don't have a problem necessarily with the, the location of the windows. It's just not right by design. Um, we still have to bring the elevation, too, with this ground down further. Uh, so maybe those windows look like they're going to be super high. I don't know. This isn't the only thing that's been done since our last video, too. Let's take a we'll walk inside. Check this out, guys. So, we have got primer on the walls. And if you look up higher, it's a little bit different color. That's actually the color that the ceiling is going to get, and that's it. Um, it will not be repainted unless there's touch-up areas and stuff. But they, they did that yesterday, and uh, it looks really cool. Yep. Pleased with how this looks so far in the inside. Let's go outside a minute. 
Okay, we're out on the lanai again, and I've actually put some string up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's got little ribbons on there. Uh, and I've got some stakes in the ground where the swimming pool is gonna be. We are toying with the idea, I think I might have mentioned this before, about moving the screen back a little bit further. And I wanted to get some ideas of whether I should do it or not. This is currently where I have it. This is where we would move it to. Um, otherwise, it would be about two and a half feet in this direction. Uh, definitely going to move it that way. I think we might wind up moving it a little bit further. It's just going to cost us a whole heck of a lot more money. But what that will allow us to do is to move the pool this way more um, and give us a little bit more room on that side to put a table or something. Um, the way it is, if we leave the, the pool exactly where it is right now, this is what we have, um, and on this side we have about the same amount of space. Not sure that's going to be enough for a table, though. A couple of chairs, sure, a lounger, absolutely. Maybe a little uh, cafe set with two tables, or excuse me, two chairs and a table. But I don't think we'll be able to put our larger table on either of these spaces. is the other side closer to the theater. This is where the steps for the swimming pool will be. So this actually the edge is here and then the steps start right here and they go in about three feet. So right about here is where the the pool will be about three feet and it works its way down to six feet here. Not a very large pool, just enough to get wet cool off in the summertime like today it's very hot in central florida right now uh, we are at about 92 93 degrees i know in south central florida it is running about 95 96 degrees it's warm humidity not so bad yet um, it is creeping up by the way you can look up here you can see that they've painted the ceiling up here. All right, that's gonna be it for this update. Uh, we'll let you know what we're gonna do with the front of the house, whether we're gonna lower those windows or not. Um, at this point, probably not, uh, but we'll let you guys know. But I think uh, overall, this looks really cool. Very happy with uh, how it's turning out.